Hey guys, so I am six weeks out from my first figure pro debut. I wanted to um, go ahead and show you where I'm at and do an update. I wish I recorded earlier, but we are going to start now. So six weeks out doing 45 minutes of cardio. Today I just did some shoulder, some chest, shoulders, and arms. I just It was a day I just needed to do what I wanted to do to feel good. So I did three sets of 30 chest press. I did three sets of 30 dips. I supersetted them with some, um, some curls. I didn't record everything in this video. I just did snippets of a few exercises. But here I did some hammer curls and two W curls. Love them. I think I did like eight, two is one um, per direction. So that those felt really good. And I did some, I liked these, some bench plank rows. Loved them actually, felt really good. I did about 10 per side. Just trying to get core work in when I can. Trying to tone up these arms. I really need conditioning in these arms. This is the one thing that's lagging right now. So did that. And then I did a few other things, like I said, that I didn't record, but here's one thing I did. I did 21 with dumbbells. I did two sets of these, I know. Um, so I started from the bottom, went halfway up, went from the top, halfway down, full range, seven reps each, 21 total, two sets of that. Then I went into some half burpee, two dumbbell press, and just ended with a bang, really. I just needed it mentally physically and it felt good. It's Friday. Just gotta do it. Gotta do it when you feel good. Alright, that's it with my workout. I didn't get down here to rent so that, you know, I woke up at the crack of dawn to get here. But I got here, got it done, and then somebody just and I was like, wow, you're super sweaty. <laughs> um Thank you. I work really hard. <laughs> and, you know, I did like 45 minutes of cardio. But so if you look sweaty in the gym, who cares? Who cares? Work your butt off. I feel like so, so I'm guilty many. of it too. But like we just go to the gym sometimes and just go through the motions. But you're not at the gym to go through motions. Like you're there to get stuff done. So I hope, and my girls already know this, that when they walk in that gym and they look all cute and pretty, you best believe you're not going to be looking like that when you leave me. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but I'm just fired up. So I hope that you're okay with getting sweaty and looking gross. It's not even looking gross. I think it's looking... It's Friday. Have a good day. Peace out. Miss, is your ankle okay? Okay, mommy got to take a shower and then I'll do your hair for school, okay? We love you. We're just waking up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Ugh. Yeah, strong boy. You're gonna be six soon. Six years old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, that works. Just wet your hair and then I'll uh, put gel. We need to get gel what? for you, babe. Why is your but that's your special gel? Huh? What Say is it? Good morning. Good morning. Because <laughs> mommy was trying to record a video so I could show our morning, our crazy morning. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tyson actually wants to start a YouTube channel, huh, Ty? And I have to do it and you No. You're so beautiful. No, the YouTube I watch. Oh, okay. The, 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 the real flat YouTube, not the bumpy YouTube. The real flat YouTube. That's what YouTube I'm going be on. You're talking about the real YouTube versus kids YouTube. Is that what you're talking about? Not the kids YouTube, mm. the real YouTube. Mm. Okay. And what content are you going to be putting up there? Mm. The grown up YouTube. I know. The grown up
So I put in here. Oh, wow. I didn't even know I that. I didn't notice that either. You're so smart. That's cool. I'm the really smartest one in the family. All right. Grab my food. I want I'm that ready. big chunk of gear. Okay. So now I'm headed to work. I changed because I was so sweaty. And now I'm not sweaty. I showered. And so I don't stink. And that waist trainer that I wear, I need to wash it. So we're gonna order some coffee and I'm gonna uh, show you guys what I order. Some of, most of my clients already know what I order. It's not gonna be any surprise, but hey, it's pretty creative. So we're gonna order some coffee and I'll show you. And then I'm just gonna rant for a little bit. So. Tomorrow I'm gonna to be five weeks out from the show. I haven't been recording that much. I really wanted to blog a lot more this time around, but life just happens and it's crazy and busy with my work and I love it so much. Um, and I've been, because of last year, you know, and not working and just now I'm just so grateful and I just want to give it my all because I love personal training and that's, you know, what I am and what I'm doing right now and still, like I said, studying the real estate stuff, but we're not, uh, my focus is um, personal training right now and helping as many people as I can, which there's going to be a class that I'm starting soon. I'm excited about that. Anyways, so tomorrow's going to be five weeks out. Uh, the last two weeks, we've made some great changes with my body um manipulated nutrition and training just a little bit and i feel really good we started carb cycling so i just have two days of low carbs and one day of high carbs um it's not for everybody at the first week it was really really tough for me i uh, my energy just you know not having the carbs your energy is just like whoo so i like crashed pretty hard i was really tired um, and then I also might be TMI, but I started my menstrual cycle again. And so, um, I had it like on the 19th and I was like, that stinks. I'm going to have this during <laughs> my show. And then, um, whatever, got through it. And then a week and a half later, I started it again. And so that's just like a sign of, you know, your body's just adjusting hormones, losing body fat. Uh, drastic changes to your body sometimes your body reacts so um that kind of stunk but whatever we got past it and so we'll see when this um really does happen again hopefully maybe my body fat will be kind of low that i don't uh have it at all that'd be great so last time i prepped i didn't have to worry about my period my menstrual cycle uh i was breastfeeding and when i when sometimes when you breastfeed you don't get it and i was one of those that didn't have it so i pretty much didn't have my menstrual cycle for two years because i breastfed tyson and then i got pregnant while i was breastfeeding him and then you know so i didn't have it and then um emory and emory breastfed her for two and a half years <laughs> and then uh and then i got it right after i slowed that down um and then so now you know now i have it so here we go we're gonna order hi welcome to starbucks how can we get started today good morning can i get a venti pike with sugar-free cinnamon dolce okay anything else nope that will be all no cream? No cream. Okay, perfect. So it's going to be 3 for the minute. Thank yeah. you. They always ask for cream. I'm like, no, no cream. No cream. Don't even, when somebody doesn't even say, don't offer it. <laughs> it's like, do you want to make that medium or large? No, I said medium. Don't, <laughs> don't tempt me. So yeah, there it is. Venti Pike Place with sugar-free cinnamon dolce. So much fun. So simple. <laughs> and it's actually really good. It was hard for me, I'm not going to lie, um, to get off the cream. The first go around when I prepped, so I started prepping in 2018 for my first show. Um, and it took me 
it took me a while to get off cream. I want to say, because we started my prep kind of far back, like not an actual prep. We just started really paying attention to my nutrition and kind of just getting my mind right. Um, cause it's a whole different ball game than anything I've ever done before. Powerlifting, CrossFit, it's, you know, a whole different ball game. And I was breastfeeding when I did my first prep. So we just didn't know how things were going to work out. But, um, I want to say it took me like three months to get off cream. Um, it was a habit that I've had for my in entire life since I've been drinking coffee so that was probably one of the hardest uh, habits to break um, you know and we didn't just cut it off we tapered it down which that's the type of coach so Valerie has taught me that she's my nutrition coach and I'm the same way I don't just totally take anything away from my clients we just taper it down um, to eventually then it, it's gone. I don't even have it, you know, when I'm not prepping. It's I, I just drink black coffee now. And sometimes, you know, I like the cold brew with some cold foam. Um, but really, that's to the extent that I take the cream. And so, yeah, black coffee is kind of hard to get into. But once you break that habit, you're not going to even look back. And it's those small little calories that do add up sometimes yes have a splash but if you're having a splash then you're adding another splash and then you're having it every day maybe twice a day those calories are gonna add up um, so yeah long story short that's my order I hope you guys have a wonderful day and um, get your workout in don't forget to get your workout in and don't forget to make steps to break some bad habits have a great day. Okay, so we are finishing our day with a second cardio session. Hi. It is, I'm taking Hi. the kids with me because I have the kids. So we gotta go do some track work. It's not gonna take very long, 10 and 20 minutes, but it's a matter of the fact that you just gotta get it together, get your mind right, let's get this done. We're at five weeks out tomorrow. I'm looking a little tired, been up since for so all right let's go get this done come in, Rube, boy boy can you get it up come in, Rube, boy boy you should be enough take it take yeah. it baby baby yeah. take it take yeah. it yeah.